Hey everyone, today's home screen tutorial is a screen of the day called Easy Sales by John Nada. As you can see, it's got a fantastic side panel that can open up pretty much all your imports and apps that you need. Uh, just above this, it's got this amazing minimal setup weather widget that also when tapped brings up your weather information. And above that, it's got a very sleek and minimal status bar. Your frequency area brings up any of your important contacts that you contact most often which comes in real handy. And finally below that you got all your important information such as your next alarm time, your agenda as well as your battery information. So let us begin with today's video tutorial. Alrighty, starting from a stock Nova launcher, don't worry you can still use Holo launcher as well as Apex launcher to do this, even SS launcher if you prefer. So starting out we just want to hold down on our home screen. We want to go into our options here. You can do it any way possible. Next, you're going to your desktop settings. And from here, we'll go into our desktop grid. Now, 11 by 10 is recommended, but obviously, if it doesn't work for you, you can try it out if you have a different phone. So we'll go OK. Our margins will leave as none. Home screens, we just want one home screen. And we are pretty much leave everything else off. Only things you need to enable is resize all widgets, widgets overlap and overlap when placing. You might be able to get away with it on the free version, but they are highly recommended. So from here, we'll go back. Your dock, you can just disable your dock. Look and feel, you want to scroll down to disable or disable notification bar. From here, we want to go back. And next, we want to go into gestures and buttons. Now, because there's no physical app draw icon, you can make your menu button open up your app draw as well as adding in gestures such as swipe up to open up your app drawer or double tap to show your notification bar if you would really like it. So next we can go back and that is our Nova settings set up. So we go back and there we have it. It should look like this. So next we can move on to the wallpaper. Great. So for the wallpaper, we want to hold down on the home. We want to hold down on the home screen and this is very simple. We just want to go into our wallpapers now. Find where you've copied the wallpaper onto your phone. Let's go into your gallery. If you prefer, you can use Quick Pick. Works really well. And now just find where you have saved it. Don't worry. I've created a Nexus 4 version specifically designed for the Nexus 4. And what I mean by that is, so you just need to find it. As you can see, I've added in the bottom status bar. So when you select OK, it now makes room for it at the bottom so you don't have this cut off. So yeah, that's pretty much your wallpaper set up. Next, we'll be moving on to the UCCW widgets. Great, so for the UCCW widgets, you just want to hold down on the home screen, select widgets, and from here, you want to select UCCW, and any size, it really does not matter, because you're just going to be resizing them anyway. And you want to go open uzip, and then find the uzips that have been provided for you. You just need to copy them onto your phone, so let's go with agenda and alarm. I've already imported it, so that's fine. And you just need to drag it over there and then select the hand. If it's a bit small, you just need to resize it. Great, and there we have it. Now, obviously, if it doesn't look as it does in the screenshot, you just want to move things around a bit. So you just want to select it, go select object to bring up your objects that have been added. And you want to go common controls. This works really well for this one right here. We want to select position, faster movement. It's one of the new features of the new update of UCCW. And what it allows you to do is move everything at once. So you just go close and go back. As you can see, it's getting much better looking. Great, so you basically want to do all of that for each one of the, the different UZIPs. I've added in my own frequency contacts here. Don't worry, I'll provide this one for you. You just, as well as the font, if you just want to rename any of these, because obviously you don't want to have these names on your phone, you just want to go select object, select your static text for each one of the four, swipe across to text, and then rename it from here and then go OK, and then that will rename it. Obviously, you can also change the size and the position for each one of these just to make it fit better on your phone. Now, once you've added in each one of the UCCW skins, you want to go select object, hotspots mode. As you can see, the one for the frequent contacts has been set up already for you. If you're not too sure about hotspots mode, there, don't worry, there's been a link provided below for a great tutorial on it. But other than that, you can just go hotspot and change it accordingly. For your contacts, you want to go into your shortcut and then select the contact icon. Now, once you're happy with all the hotspots for each one of the UCCW skins, including the one, say, for weather, you want to go options here, hotspots mode, on. What that will now do is now if you say select Izzy, then it brings up her contact information 
and say for the weather icon if we had to select it I made it up open iron sky just something simple you can open up any other app but I just found this really useful great once you have set up all your UCCW skins and your hotspots mode modes are on we're gonna be moving on to adding in your shortcuts now your shortcuts are really easy to add and there are a number of ways to do them so we're gonna be taking gallery for example the first way of doing it is just holding down the home screen selecting apps now you can either add in multiple if you're using Nova but for now I'm just going to select one and I'm going to select gallery now as you can see it's just an icon so if you move it onto the icon over there hold down on the icon select edit select the icon select your files and then find where you've copied your blank PNG onto your phone don't worry one has been provided in the link below so we're just going to select your blank PNG and go OK so now when you select the icon it'll bring up your gallery just like that really cool so that is the first way second way is just adding in a desktop visualizer you'll just add the widget over the entire gallery shortcut here and then just change the icon to the blank PNG as shown like this as well as the action to your gallery so those are the two ways of doing it and they both work just as well finally we can see here we've got our little tab here that's got all of our that's got our media tools bookmarks and games now there are a few ways of doing this I'm just going to be showing you the easiest one so now to add in say for your games folder we just want to hold down wherever there's not a UCCW you want to go apps now in Nova Launcher you can say select multiple which works really well in this instance and you can just select all of your games that you want so once you've selected all of them you go create folder which makes a really nice little folder for you and you just select it and you just need to drag it as close as you can to the games folder there next you want to hold down on this you go edit select the icon select files do the exact same thing and change it to a blank PNG so now when you select your games brings up your games you're welcome to use semi folder for this but that's just a quick and easy way without any hassle if you'd like to add something like your bookmarks you just hold down and say select shortcuts select a bookmark choose a bookmark that you would like once you have selected it and added all of them do the same thing just drag them into each other and it'll create a folder just like the one you did for games great and then we have our home screen tutorial complete I hope you've enjoyed it folks thanks very much for watching don't forget to subscribe to the my color screen channel as well as check out our google plus facebook and twitter communities thanks very much guys for watching this is marco from my color screen and don't stop customizing <music>